Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question climbing stairs. Okay, so let me explain with this example, n equal 5, we have 5 stairs. So first of all, this is a base case, uh, we uh, start from here. So we count uh, this situation as a one way, so I put 1 here. And uh, how about the uh, uh, first stair, how many ways um, do we have to reach the first stair? So from starting point, if we make a one step, uh, we can reach a uh, fast stair, right? And the description said uh, we can make one step or two steps. So if we um, make a two steps from a uh, starting point, so we reach the um, second stair, not fast stair. So that means we cannot reach the fast stair, right? So that's why um, we have only one way to reach the fast stair, right? So that's why I put one here. And uh, let's think about the second stair. So if we make a one step at first, then um, make a one step again, we can reach the um, second stair, right? Or as you can see from starting point, if we make uh, two steps, we can reach the second stair, right? So we have only two ways to reach the second stair. So that's why I put two here. So question is, how can we calculate um, these two? So let's think about uh, from uh, second stair. So as I told you, uh, we can make a uh, one step or two steps, right? So that's why from second stairs, so one step should be first stair, right? And the two steps should be starting point, right? So that's why a total number of ways to reach the second stair should be total number of starting point and total number of first stairs. So that means one plus one. That's why uh, we can calculate these two in this case. So to prove that, so let me continue. So let's think about the uh, third stairs. And uh, in the case, how many ways? So first way should be one step, one step, and one step. That is one way. Or, as you can see, two steps and one step. This is a second way. Or um, make a one step from starting point, then make a two steps from first stair. So this is a um, third way. And then finish. So that means uh, three ways. And the uh, calculation should be um, current stair minus one. So that is a uh, one step plus um, current stair minus two. That is a uh, two steps. So that means uh, we should add first stair, total number of first stair and the total number of second stair. So that means one plus two. So that's why total three looks good. So we do the same thing. So let's think about the uh, uh, fourth um, stair. So uh, we don't write uh, like uh, arrows, so we just calculate. So from here, um, first um, um, one step should be uh, three ways, right? And uh, two steps uh, should be two ways. So that's why two plus three, and we should have five ways to reach the fourth stair. And then how about the fifth stair? So from here, uh, one step should be five way, and uh, two steps should be three. So that's why three plus five and eight. Yeah, so that is a basic idea. So to keep this number, uh, we will use array. So in other words, this is a dynamic programming problem. Yeah, so let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a dp list. So dp and initialize with all zero and then multiply n plus one. And then uh, we know that our starting point should be one way. So dp zero should be one way. And, uh, and we know that first stair also one way, right? So one. So we iterate through from the second stair. So for i in range and from two to last. So last should be n plus one because uh, we want to include n stairs. I mean, we should return n stairs, right? So that's why. And then 
So as I told you, uh, we can calculate number of ways to reach current still. So that should be dp i equal dp i minus one. This is a uh, uh, where we make a uh, one step plus um two steps. So dp and i minus two. And then after that, we should return the last number. So dp minus one. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n, where n is the number of steps to reach the top. And the space also order of n, because uh, we use a dp list. Yeah, so next, uh, we can actually optimize the space complexity from O n to O1. So let me show you how. Okay, so let me use the same picture. And first of all, let me put the stair number. One, two, three, four, five, right? And uh, look at the first stair. So total number of way to reach the first stair should be one, right? And how about the second stair? So two ways, right? And how about the uh, third stair? So three ways, right? So until three stair, actually, um, we have uh, n steps uh, to the top. So um, we can say if n is less than or equal 3. So in the case, we just return n. Easy, right? So if not the case, uh, we have to calculate. That means from stair 4. So uh, from stair 4, um, so do you remember the calculation? So minus 1 step or minus 2 steps. So uh, we use the same idea. So prove one is a one step back. So from stair four, one step back should be three, right? So three way. So that's why initialize three and uh, preview pre two. So two step backs from uh, stair four. So that should be uh, second stair, right? So two ways. So two. And uh, we initialize current, initialize equal zero. And then first of all, uh, let's calculate total number of way to reach current stair. Four. So that should be uh, 3 plus 2, right? One step back and two step back. So current should be 5, right? And the 5, right? Looks good. And then uh, we need to update priv1 and priv2. So when we reach the uh, stair 5, so two step back should be 3, right? So uh, current 3, um, so three we have 3 with priv1. So that's why update P2 with P1 for next iteration, uh, not this side, this one, three. And uh, how about the P1? So when we reach five, um, one step back should be stair four. So that should be five, right? And uh, we have five with current variable. So that's why update P1 with current. Then uh, we go to next iteration. So first of all, calculate current. So P1 plus P2. So that is eight, right? And uh, yeah, we have eight ways. Looks good. And then, uh, so if we have uh, stair six, we have to use P1, P2 again. So that's why update um, P2 with um, P1, right? So when we, if we have six, so a uh, two step back should be four. So that is five. So that's why update P2 with P1. And then uh, P1 should be stair 5, right? From stair 6. So that should be 8. And we have 8 with current. So that's why update P1 with current variable 8. But so n equals 5. So that's why we finish iteration. All we have to do is just return uh, current variable. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, if n is less than or equal 3, in that case, just return n. And if not the case, um, initialize priv1, so that should be 3, and priv2, that should be 2, and current equal 0. And we can uh, calculate from stair 4. So for uh, underscore, oops, underscore in range, so this is an index number, so stair 4 should be index 3, right? So 3, 2, n. And then, so first of all, calculate current. 
equal brief1 plus brief2. And then update brief2 with brief1. And the brief1 should be current. And then return current. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And uh, time is same, order of n, and the space is O1 because uh, we use only uh, simple variables, right? Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with your actions such as comment and hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.